our history about travel retail is a, it's a long, it's a long, long story about uh, uh, experience. Uh, all our brands are so successful on, um, on the channel and we are growing so fast uh, that we think this kind of uh, sector, so travel retail is, a, is an important channel. It's becoming more and more important in the coming, in the coming years for LVMH. We have an amazing portfolio. It's big, it's wide, it's strong. Uh, and we are becoming more and more experienced in, uh, in travel retail. Our uh, experience, of course, in travel retail is, uh, is uh, quite strong in Asia. Uh, Asia is uh, more or less 50%, between 50 and 55% of our uh, turnover. Then we have Europe, uh, quite strong for us and uh, very interesting because uh, a huge part of our brand uh, have a, a, a European DNA like uh, Guerlain, like Givenchy and Kenzo Sofora. The brand awareness is there is uh, higher compared to Asia or America. We have a lot of, a lot of brands that uh, in our uh, our business are uh, only regional, I would say, uh, just to make you some example, we have only, uh, for example, Fresh is developed in travel retail only in Asia. The good news is that we have a lot of room ahead of us to develop our portfolio of brands uh, in the coming months and years. say LVMH is a very vertical organized group so each brand is really uh, owner of the strategy and of, of uh, their results and uh, so it's not easy it has, it has not been easy uh, to build up a common strategy a common approach but the good news is that uh, we think we could keep strong our strengths so our verticality and leverage on the group uh, portfolio in order to increase uh, our uh, capabilities to develop business in travel retail. So I decided to appoint uh, four regional managing director. Uh, first time for us to have uh, our uh, regional director in charge to manage uh, all the portfolio brand out of Dior and Bulgari uh, within the region. So these new, these new people are in charge to really to lead the business uh, to develop new brands, for example, uh, to, to iron out some strong agreement and partnership uh, with uh, key retailers. So the goal at the end of this new structure is to, to develop a new and strong partnership with retailers because uh, we think we have a strong portfolio of brands we can give to our retailer added value uh, with a win-win approach and uh, I, I found a very, very uh, great uh, welcome and warm welcome by the retailers that are very hungry to, to, uh, to leverage and to develop business with us. Well, actually for LVMH, uh, 2018 has been a really great year. Uh, we have seen, despite all the ec economical and geopolitical uh, context, especially with Korea, where uh, we have been a little bit under threat with a huge draft of uh, the PRC customer profile. Nevertheless, we have seen that the sales uh, have sustained. And uh, now that the problem has been solved, we see 2018 starting very strongly uh, with uh, PRC coming back to Korea, but uh, still on, on, a, on a strong growth uh, wherever the destinations are. 
Um, so from a customer perspective, because the PRC are representing uh, most of our customers and most of our sales, uh, it looks very promising. Uh, after that, uh, I think uh, regarding the LVMH brands, uh, we have uh, very strong plans for 2018 uh, with uh, a good start, a really strong start from uh, Guerlain, especially with their lipstick uh, Rouget. Uh, we have uh, Givenchy, which is still uh, really taking advantage of the makeup trend with uh, and especially uh, thanks to the lipsticks and uh, the coming uh, launch of the Rouge Liquide uh, product uh, and uh, we have then uh, Kenzo uh, on the fragrant side which is uh, uh, really enjoying uh, the launch last year of Kenzo World which is the first project closely linked to the fashion. Um, after that you have uh, Fresh uh, which is uh, which with its strong customer base of uh, PRC uh, is really rolling out uh, in Asia Pacific and therefore enjoying uh, the growth of the different uh, location. Uh, same for Benefit uh, which is completely uh, revamping and uh, reinventing its brand and having a very first uh, strong uh, response from the customers uh, and uh, lastly in the portfolio as far as Asia Pacific is concerned uh, Makeup Forever uh, really the specialist in, 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 in makeup uh, which also thanks to the good work the, uh, and the strong work in, in uh, mainland China and in Korea has a strong base to further grow uh, in travel retail. When we look worldwide, uh, perfume and cosmetic business, uh, there is, uh, doesn't exist uh, any other channel or sector able to grow double digit worldwide as travel retail is able to do. So definitely travel retail is uh, for us, for LVMH, is becoming a priority in terms of investments, in terms of strategy, no more tactical or optimistic, but much more strategic in terms of approach. So in the coming months, we are building up brand by brand, but all together, and this is the good news, uh, a clear strategy to approach uh, the channel by region, because each region has its own specificities, of course. So we should have our capabilities, uh, we, we should be able to adapt our capabilities and our structure to adapt our sector to the specificities, specificities of each region and this will be the secret of success in the coming years.